everyone, my name is Tasha and today I'm doing the mid-year book freak out. I actually already did this last year and this was created by or co-created by Chami from Read Like Wildfire and I really liked this kind of video because it kind of wrapped up the first half of my reading year. When I did this last year, that was around the time I just started out on like booktube and I had no idea what I was talking about, but I thought I would do this video again to wrap up my first half, my first half of my reading year of 2016. Best book you've read so far in 2016. This is gonna be a tie between The Savage Song by V.E. Schwab and The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski. Both of these were five star books and with both of these books, I just basically loved everything about them, the writing, the characters, the plot, and pacing, whatever. So those two were definitely very, very high up in my top books of this year so far. Best sequel you've read so far in 2016. For this I'm gonna go with A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. Again, this is the sequel to A Darker Shade of Magic and I just loved this book so much and I can't even begin to explain how excited I am for the third book which is A Conjuring of Light and we got like little snippets and I don't think I'm ready but at the same time I just need this book now. New release you haven't read yet but want to. So many. Two new releases that I don't own but really really want to own so I can read them are A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro and The Star mm -hmm. and The Star Touched Queen by Roshani Roshani Chachki Chachki I'm sure you know who I mean. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, those two I really want to get to. One new release that I own but haven't read, which I don't know why, is Rebel of the Sands by Alan Hamilton. I was anticipating this book before it came out. I bought it right when it came out, maybe even a few days earlier, like it was out in the shop before its release, but I still haven't read this and... Honestly, I don't know when I'm gonna read this. I have so many other books I want to read at the moment and I'm so overwhelmed. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Cricket Kingdom by Leigh Bordugo, Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Those are the ones I can think of right now. Biggest disappointment. It hurts my heart and soul to say this, but The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. This was, or this is the last book in the Raven Cycle, which is one of my all-time favorite series. And I did give this book four stars. I think it's four, I think I gave it four stars, but I gave all the others five stars and I was anticipating this book so much. So my expectations were like sky high. And even though I still really enjoyed this book, I was quite disappointed with a lot of things. Biggest surprise, The Foxhole Court by Nora Sakovic. You knew it was coming at some point. This series took me by surprise because when I read the synopsis, by the way, if you wanna know what the series is about, I have an entire video all about the series. I will link it down below. But when I first read what the series was about, I was like, mm, that doesn't sound like something I would like, but the first book was free as an ebook, so I downloaded it and because so many people were talking about it on Tumblr, I was quite intrigued by this series and oh my god, it took over my life. I just, oh, I love these so much. Favorite new author, definitely Emery Lord. Just a few days ago, I read When We Collided and oh my god, I was a mess. I loved this book, I loved the writing, so... I'm definitely checking out more of Emery Lord's books. My newest fictional crush, I'm gonna name three. Julian and Mark from Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. And then also Recent from A Court of Mist and Fury. Um, I haven't mentioned this in a wrap up yet, but if you've seen my Goodreads review or on Twitter, probably, I wasn't the biggest fan of this book, but Recent, I love recent. Newest favorite character, Andrew Minyard from The Foxhole Court. 
He is my baby. He is my everything. I love him so much. I love Neil as well. But Andrew is a book that made me cry. I didn't realize how many books have made me cry this year. Just a few days ago, When We Collided by Emery Lord made me cry. The King's Men, the last book in the Foxhall Court series by Nora Sakovic. And the reason I cried with this book is when I got towards the end, I, I, I didn't want it to end. I didn't want to let go of these characters. So I got so sad. Like the they would say something totally normal, not even sad or anything, and I would cry because I knew it was gonna end and I was not ready for it. Another book, The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater, um, You Know Me Well by David Levithan and Nina LaCour, The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski. I think that was it. There are probably many more to come. I'm so emotional. Book that made me happy. Now these books made me more laugh than happy, but I associate laughing and that stuff with being happy. So one being Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This book made me laugh so much and just gave me all the feels. So it made me happy. And then also I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. Again, so funny. And I just felt really good when I read this. I don't know if that made any sense. Favorite book to film adaptation you saw this year? I don't think I've seen any this year. I watched Shadowhunters, which is like book two TV show, but no. I didn't even finish it. I just realized I still haven't finished Shadowhunters. Does Deadpool count as book to movie because Deadpool is a comic? If so, then Deadpool definitely was my favorite. Deadpool was amazing. I loved it. I'm gonna make it count. It is a comic book and it was made into a movie, so it's a comic book to movie adaptation. Favorite review you've written this year or the booktube version, favorite video you have done so far in this year. Definitely my video I made about the Foxhole Court series by Nora Sakovic. Most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received. Again, I have a few to show. When We Collided by Emery Lord. I love this cover. I'm obsessed. Blah. I'm obsessed with it. Rebel of the Sands by Alvin, Hamil Alvin Hamilton. I just love the gold bits in this cover. So pretty shiny. Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Especially this edition with the blue pages. I just I love it so much and I'm so happy I got this copy. And This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab which was sent to me. I love this cover so much, but I also really like the US cover, so I think I'm gonna get that one as well. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? So many. I'm gonna go with books that I already own that I still need to read, because if I count like new releases that I want to read, I'm never gonna be done. Some books that I want to have read by the end of this year are the Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Cress and Winter, books three and four in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. So that was the mid-year book freakout tag, I guess. I'm gonna tag some people down below, so go check out the video description. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. That was it for this time, and I will see you next time. Bye!